I have many books that I love. There's one particular section. Uh, it's a section of biographies uh, that I've got, and it includes biographies of people like John Stott and Billy Graham and many others. But one of the significant ones that I have uh, in that in that volume is the story of William Wilberforce, who is noted for his work in bringing about the abolition of slavery. However, we have numbed ourselves to the reality that in today's world, there are many more people today working and suffering, being held in exploitation and captivity, in cruelty as slaves than there were in the days of Wilberforce. We need to be much more clued in to the work of anti-trafficking charities like CARE and many others that work with modern day slaves. Some of us will live and work in parishes where in our streets and in our own communities around the corner from where we live there may well be people who profit from the buying and the selling of human beings. This is not an exaggeration uh, on my part. Certainly in the Diocese of Down and Remore there will be people who are exploited as sex trade workers, exploited as human slaves in other ways. Most will have been brought to our communities under false pretenses from overseas. They will be treated as less than human, sold for sex, sold for work and will have had their passports often removed from them and will be held in fear. What could we do? What should we do? Well we can first of all uh, be aware that this is a reality. We can then be aware that none of this is, is, is glamorous or has the glamour of the, of the film Pretty Lady. We ought, of course, to be those who pray regularly for both the victims and, indeed, those who buy and sell human beings. We ought to financially support those who work with the exploited and engage with organisations like CARE and others and support them in every way we can. We need to become able in our churches and in our dioceses to provide shelter for those who are being rescued from human trafficking, as well as being able to provide food and shelter and friendship and, and, and counselling. Uh, and if you are in any way suspicious that people are being exploited at an address in your parish, please immediately inform the PSNI and make social services aware as well and may God raise up in his church modern day William Wilberforces who will speak and act and work for the destruction and the abolition of this blight in today's world and even in today's Northern Ireland let us pray go before us Lord in all our doings with your most gracious favour and further us with your continual help that in all our work begun, continued and ended in you we may glorify your holy name and finally by your mercy receive everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.